Of course, this would be the case as soon as I upload a video, we get an update about Big Team Battle and a lot of things about Halo Infinite, so I want to cover that in this video. So if you like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button, it really helps out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe, so let's get right into the content here. The community director sketch recently just posted up again today for an update going on with BTB and more, talking about the February mid update. Talking about that big team battle fix, talking about what we're going to get for like the time down BTB has been away and a whole lot of extra stuff. So let's get right into it. So big team battle has been away for like a month for most people, including myself. I kind of miss it. I feel like when I get a chance to play it again, it'll be like DLC. But Sketch recently just mentioned here saying that the patch for BTB has passed testing it is now going through the Xbox certification process. And as long as there are no issues come up, they're targeting the middle of next week for that BTB fix. Well, my reaction's like, thank God, it's finally happening. I can't believe it, I'm so happy about this. And we're gonna get a little extra something from this. Sketch mentions that we'll be receiving five XP boost and five challenge swaps when the hot fix does go live. All you gotta do is just log in about a month after the update goes live, which I feel like it's kind of underwhelming. And they do mention it is a small token of appreciation, but, Something better than nothing, and I just want BDB working, man. That's all I care about. Also provides more information about that mid-February update that's coming here within a month, guys. The things that they're gonna be looking into for this update as well are the economy, armor customization, ranked, cheating, networking, and a whole lot more. So when they say economy, I'm thinking, are they gonna like change the prices of the store? If so, like, heck yeah, dude, because I feel like the pricing is way too high right now. Or at least like increase the bundles of that store stuff because like right now like the prices are just ridiculous man for the customization it's just not it's just not worth it armor customization is very interesting as well i know the community has been clamoring and been asking over and over again for cross core customization i don't know if they'll go that far i think what they might be doing is more like cross core like coatings and different kind of pieces you can kind of put together being a little bit more favorable to the user experience so like armor attachments or like coatings or like you know the cat ears can go on anything kind of stuff that i don't expect them to get rid of the core system completely because if you do cross core customization then cores kind of become irrelevant and they're really only for user and like a organization sake rather than anything else like that they talk about ranked as well, and that's super important. We have seen that the multiplayer lead, Andrew Witz, I believe that's his name, has talked about improving the ranking system as we do know that a lot of times it's kind of tough to rank up in Halo Infinite as it seems like winning doesn't really cut it. Obviously, it does depend how you win, and I think that's going to continue on as well. Though I do believe we'll see a little bit more favorable rank ups when it comes to winning games and having that play a bit more of an emphasis to the whole process when it comes to ranking up. They mentioned cheating as well as high tier gameplay is becoming a really big issue. Uh, you're kind of starting to see it more and more. Personally, I haven't seen it, but I'm sure once you get to like 1700 Onyx and above, you start seeing this a lot. Obviously, keeping the integrity of the game is super important. You gotta squash the cheaters as soon as possible because they can kind of infest the game. We saw this happen with Call of Duty Warzone. We don't want that for Halo Infinite. Now, the last thing they mentioned is networking, probably talking about the desync issue that's going on right now. I really hope this can get addressed, if not like improved. I don't expect it to be completely fixed. If it ends up getting completely fixed, then I'd be super happy about that, but I expect to kind of like an improvement and kind of a step forward. That's kind of, I think, the entirety of this patch right here. It's not gonna completely fix the game to everything we want to see happen. I think we're gonna just kind of see incremental upgrades over time to kind of get the game in a nice state. We don't want these wide swings going left and right expecting like what's going to happen with the game next you know what i mean overall awesome to see sketch come up, up with us with another update talking about the february update and all those things that pretty much a lot of people are having big issues on are going to be addressed in february we will get more details as soon as we get closer to that date i would assume probably like a week maybe two before that mid-february update patch uh, we'll have some concrete information and once we do i guarantee i'll let you guys know on the channel if you're new to the channel and any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.